Latest COVID totals across Kern County, where case numbers have surpassed 180,000. Public Health reporting 2,002 more infections overnight, along with six more deaths. As of now, the Omicron variant total stays at 34. And a surge in cases due to Omicron has caused issues in just about every industry, including for our law enforcement here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino spoke with the Kern County Sheriff's Office about how this latest wave of cases has impacted their operations. She joins us now live from Oildale. Good evening, Vanya. Good evening, Keely. Well, that's right. Deputies here are either having to take on longer shifts or coming in on their days off just to deal with the amount of cases they are seeing. At the moment, the sheriff says that they have 16 cases among their operations bureau and 50 cases among their detention deputies, although he does say those numbers can vary. Unlike other agencies, KCSO also operates the coroner's office for the entire county. Now they have between 10 to 15 coroner investigators and at one point only had three working at a time because of COVID. Sheriff Donnie Youngblood says they almost had to ask for aid because so many staff members were out sick. When they can't work, uh, quite frankly, the bodies stack up and uh, our response time to uh, outline areas uh, to retrieve someone that uh, that passes, it can be very problematic and time consuming. He adds that the staff is currently able to manage now, but it does not help that the county has so many homicides. You know, we have a homicide in our county every two and a half days. And uh, we're working a homicide right now in the eastern part of the county that will take most of the deputies to to secure the scene. On top of the number of deputies needed for these cases, they are also having to deal with the delay in getting test results for those who are currently out. Since they have to get a negative test to come back to work, it is taking sometimes up to 10 days or longer for them to return. At the rate we're going, we wouldn't have anybody to respond on to a 911 call. We have to have that ability. That is why they are asking the public to only call 911 for emergencies and use their online reporting tool for non-emergencies while this blows over. They are also suspending inmate visitations starting Saturday at the Central Receiving Facility and Ledro facilities, but attorney and professional visitations will continue. Now the public health department is also asking the public to only call 911 if it's an absolutely life-threatening situation as they are also being impacted by all of these COVID-19 cases in their emergency room. Now if you are looking to submit a non-emergency report with KCSO, you can find that online portal linked on our website, turn 23com For now, live in Oildale, Vani Patino, 23ABC News, connecting you.